in live local coverage. This is News 10 at 6. We all want the real solutions. We all want gun violence to stop. Uh, but we don't have the power uh, to make that happen. They do, so they have to listen to us. That's Michael Lynn Jr., an anti-gun violence advocate in the city of Lansing. He, along with other members in the community, agree that something needs to change when it comes to the city's children dying at the hands of illegal guns. Good evening, I'm David Andrews. Anne is off tonight. Today, Lansing officials speaking out about the gun violence issue in the capital city, asking the Michigan legislature for help. Mayor Andy Shore tells News 10's Amaya Kuznicki what their plans are for the future. Gun violence has taken dozens of lives in the city of Lansing. Now city officials are asking state lawmakers for help. The question came up, um, you know, what, what can we ask the state to do? We have an enormous amount of guns in our, in our community and we need to somehow deal with that, with that problem. Lansing Mayor Andy Shore and Police Chief Valerie Sosby wrote a list of anti-gun violence proposals, including consequences for altering legal guns into illegal guns and limiting magazine capacity. These proposals can help uh, hold a very, very small uh, population within our city and our, and our state and our county um, and hold those folks accountable for a vast majority of our violent gun crime. Anti-gun violence advocate Michael Lynn Jr. says he's concerned that new laws will negatively affect people who follow the rules. Most criminals aren't checking the law books to figure out whether or not they're going to commit the ultimate sin of murder. Chief Sosby says so far this year, police have responded to a total of 944 shots fired and have seized over 400 firearms in the city. We need to teach our youth the dangers of guns. And we need to teach the parents as well. Michael McKissick founded Mikey 23 after losing his son to gun violence in 2015. Now he helps city youth stay out of trouble and on the right track by doing construction work. We're not going to put up with it anymore and we're taking a hard stance on gun crime. Lawmakers, law enforcement and community members coming together to keep children safe. In Lansing, Maya Kuznicki, News 10. Mayor Andy Shore says the city's list of proposals was given to Representative Emily Devendorf to distribute to fellow lawmakers. Turning now to our spectacular day.